So now, let's work with symmetry modeling inside of Cinema 4D. To in work with symmetry, I'm going to drag in an object right here, something like a cube. So I'm just going to bring this cube right here, and you can see that I can work around with its size. So I'm going to bring it onto the side, I'm going to bring it up, and I'm going to turn it into an editable object by pressing C right here. So what I want to do now is, let's say if I were to model something on the right, it has to be the same on the left. So you can simply use something called symmetry. And to do that, you can go over here onto the surfaces of options and you can go to symmetry right over here. And I'm going to drag the cube under symmetry. And you can see that there's a duplicate option right over there. So if I were to move the cube, you can see that the left side cube right over there moves as if they are mirroring each other. So if you were to add in details right here, like KL, so if I were to add in loops right here, so I'm going to go over here onto the loops, let's say I add loops right here, so it'll be added on the left side as well. So it's work completely like a symmetrical object. So let me just go over here onto the points, and I'm going to go onto the selection. If I were to move this up, you can see that that moves along as well. You can move this up, that moves along as well. But what if we want, want to join them right here? So you can see that this is the connection points. If you were to go over here onto the symmetry, the tolerance level is 0 0.01 right now. If you were to increase the length right here, so let's say around 22, you can see that around 22 centimeters uh, and above, it'll join in itself. But if you were to move it far away, so if I were to move the cube back again, far away, it'll actually not join. But if it is close together, you can see that they will join together just like this. So they will join together and form one single object. So you can actually go over here and add in a subdivision to it under symmetry, just like this. If you were to uh, keep a subdivision under it, you can see that this is how it works like, just like that. You can also clamp the points over here, so you can flip it out, or you can weld the points just like this, so you can weld the points in over here as well, so they are both the same subject as you can see right there. So just like that, they join together. So now over here, I'm just going to take this out and delete this out over here. So under the symmetry, so let's work around with points. So if I were to go over here onto the cube, if I were to go over here and select this, you can see that it'll move around over that side as well, just like this, and it'll form as a one singular object. So you can see over here, there's the mirror plane that you can work with. So this is mirroring the ZY. You can also mirror like the other axis right over here. So it actually acts as um, uh, mirrors top to bottom right over there as well. So you can um, uh, like this mirror different axis according to what you want as well, just like this. So there's a different axis of modeling out, mirroring and everything out just like this. So once you do that, if you were to uh, select any of the face right over here and then edit them, both of the faces will be edited just like that as well. So that is how everything works like. So that is how you can work around with the symmetry and everything else inside of Cinema 4D. Hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.